So now we're going to go on. We're going to look at part B, which we know is partially restrained. And I'm going to go back to my diagrams over here, and I'm going to set up the same logic. So, as before, we have a load in our free body diagram. It has a delta T. And in this case, you see I've drawn the displacement off just a little bit because we know that that is equal to 0 0.5 millimeters. And I'll mark that as negative because it's actually a shortening of the, the, the rod. Now I want to set up my redundant system using superposition. So on the first one I will not apply the, uh, the reaction force. This would be the unrestrained system. So we have a delta T. That delta T results into a displacement 1 which is equal to alpha delta T L. Then we set up our second system. This one does have our loads, P and P. Again, it has a displacement delta double prime equal to PL over E A. And we go up to our compatibility equation, which we have up here at the top once more, and we say delta prime plus delta double prime is equal to our negative 0 0.5 millimeters. And that's the same logic that we applied before, only instead of negative 0 0.5 millimeters, we had a displacement of 0 millimeters. So I come over here, write down my compatibility equation, delta prime plus delta double prime equals negative 0 0.5 millimeters. Substitute in my two components, alpha delta T L plus PL over EA equals negative 0 0.5 millimeters. Rearrange this, and in this case this comes out to P is equal to brackets alpha delta T L minus 0 0.5 millimeters all times EA over L. We can substitute in and solve. So again, alpha delta T L we know to be uh, 1.17 minus 0 0.5 millimeters all times E to 100,000 megapascals. Area is 1200 millimeters squared all over 2500 millimeters to come up with an answer of 64,320 newtons or 64.3 kilonewtons. So I will label those as intermediary answers. I'll carry on to solve for our uh, requested information which was the stress in the rod. The stress in the rod is equal to its P divided by its area which is equal to 64,320 newtons, 1,200 millimeters squared, and that gets us 53.6 megapascals. And that's labeled here as the stress due to the temperature change with the slightly flexible uh, supports.